Alright, welcome back to the channel. We have another China 6040 CNC machine video. This video is about the native units on Mach 3. So with the machine when you buy it, everything, if you follow the manual, everything's set up in millimeters. Well, as you see by my dial indicator, I don't deal with millimeters. I don't draw infusion with millimeters. Mine's all in inches. So the problem being, until I actually load a program into Mach 3, the DRO is gonna read in millimeters. So if I move the table 50 foul, then that's what I get on the DRO. Okay. So now the problem with that is if I'm just jogging the table around, I can't accurately tell how far I'm moving the table. And it's not just as simple as changing the native units because then you end up having to retune the motors, which is not a problem. So now if I load, I got a, just a simple circle in the inches. So now let's see. Oops, going the wrong way. So that was me moving the table 50 foul. <coughs> so now that works, but I don't want to have to just simply load a program for that to work. So let's just say, let me take this back to where it was. <coughs> let's close the program. Matter of fact, let's just restart the program. Exit. Restart it. Let's go up here. Select native units. Change the inches. Config. Save settings. Okay, so if I move the table. Oh, gotta hit the reset. Move the table 50 foul. Okay, that's not reading what I wanted to read. But I changed the native units, so let's close the program. Reopen it. Let's try the 50 foul. Still not reading. The DRO is not reading in inches like I want it to. And it's listed here in inches. Okay? So let's load a program. Okay, let's zero this. Even there, still not reading correctly. So let me close the program. Here are 50 foul. There's our 50. Okay, let me show you the motor tuning. So on the, there's our inches. And in the motor tuning, you can see the steps per and the velocity has changed. This is what you end up with when you do the motor tuning to actually get the DRO to read correctly. So let's see if we can go back and load the standard Mach 3. So we are in inches. Let's get our motor tuning. I'm only going to do the X so you are at 437.50. Alright, so what I want to do is come to settings and right over here are steps per unit for axis calibration. So we're going to move the X axis. Now, down here we're looking at our dial indicator. So it's asking how far do you want to move the x-axis? 
So I'm going to tell it that I want to move it one. So to me, that's one inch. Okay, ready? Hit OK. You look at 039, 038. So it still thinks, even though you got the native set to inches, when I type a one, it says one millimeter. So then it's going to ask me, how far did it move? Okay. So what we're going to do is type 0 0.038. We hit OK. So it adjusted the steps. Would you like to accept it? Hit yes. So now, if I come over here, motor tuning, you can see that the X has been changed. If you go to Y, it's the old number. If you go through and do an X, Y, and Z with the same method, when you restart it, your DRO will read correctly. Okay, let's go back to settings, steps, X. So that actually went one inch nineteen. So we're gonna come up here and tell it one inch O nineteen. Okay, so let's take our table back. settings. Do this a couple of times and get it lined up. One inch. Okay. There we go. Exactly one inch. So then we come up here and tell it that it moved one inch. And that's it. So do that to your X your Y and your Z. You have to do it several times until you get it to read exactly zero when you tell it one inch. And that's what I did on the Mach 3 rotary when I set up my rotary table. That's actually what I did on the motor tuning. I went through, there's my settings for X, Y, Z, and A. And since I did that, then my table is reading in inches now. to zero. Fill that out. Fifty thou. One hundred thou. Anyway, so that's how you get your machine changed over to read in inches. So you can see where I started. These are all my millimeter settings, and then my inches settings, and my drive for my rotary table. So now my machine reads inches. Hey, I know this is kind of long and drawn out, and I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Um, once you calibrate your machine, you don't have to do it again. It's kind of a pain in the butt to go through all of it, but it's kind of nice when you fire the machine up it's reading inches. One thing that I forgot to mention, let me show you, <coughs> is your safe Z setup. So it's nice to have the safe Z set up correctly. And what happens is if you have this at 0.625, then 
when you fire the machine up, if it's in millimeters, then this is like, I forget what it is, but it's so close. And when you hit go to Z on the machine, <laughs> the spindle gives you a heart attack because it dives straight for the workpiece and you've only got like a third of a millimeter clearance when it rapids over to home. And if you're not used to going over here and checking the safety every time, you can break a bit. So it's nice whenever your machine is in native units that you normally work in to have the safe Z always pop up at a safe number, five eighths of an inch from me. So anyway, if you got any use out of that, then uh, be sure to share this video with anyone who has the hobby machines or the 6040. And uh, if you would uh, hit the little subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. I have a video coming up of upgrading the controller box on this machine, so stay tuned. You uh, don't want to miss that. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.